Hi guys, it's me Lunar, welcome back to another Fallout console mod video, where we take a look at the upcoming mods for the game. I haven't played these mods and so I don't have an opinion on them, I'm simply going over what mod authors say about them, so we can get excited about what mods are coming for Fallout. So let's jump into our first mod. First up we have just a few poster billboards. Have you found yourself getting bored looking at the billboards, advertising posters, or these pinups you find all over the wasteland? Well this could make it a bit more interesting for a while. Eye candy for the ladies and of course the gentlemen with this mod. Next up we have secure Red Rocket lab space. Red Rocket, having all the vanilla workbenches and being relatively compact, at least compared to Sanctuary, is a good spot for a personal space. This blueprint takes that concept somewhat more stringently. High walls of concrete shut out the noise of the crowd. Enter by solving a simple puzzle, once inside nothing can harm you. More Fair Ghouls The author made this file as he just wasn't happy with other mods that changed how Feral Ghouls act. So what this mod does is reduce their speed by 60% and removes the lunge attacks as well, but keeps them dangerous. They can still run and sprint, but at a normal speed, and not the flash. Affects all ferals and glowing ones, and also works on the Nuka World Beast as well. Should go well with mods that increase spawns for ferals for a zombie apocalypse feel. The author has used it to this effect, and with true storms roving bands that follow rad storms, settlement walls become much more important. FNP90 Apart from its representation in Fallout 2 and the tactics as the HKP90C and the FMP90C respectively, Author has crafted this mod with an eye towards a more realistic depiction. It is intended as a replacement for the vanilla submachine gun. So no, it doesn't fire 10mm initially, and it doesn't have a 24 round magazine, but he thinks you will enjoy it all the same. You'll be able to find this weapon naturally as you travel the wastelands, in the hands of gunners, raiders, bosses, and more. If you just like the institute, well, you'll find out. There is also a special version in the hands of a particular raider boss, with a fiery name and a lost sister. However, should you prefer not to edit the NPC based inventories in your game, there is also a version with only standard leveled list integration throughout the installer. Next we have the Giving Tree. It's not exactly lore friendly, as it's plus 210 years later, the tree wouldn't look like that, but the author's take on it was that the tree is like a fountain of youth, and in the appropriate name Sanctuary. The author also cleaned up the streets surrounding the tree of all debris, leaves, trash, dirt and bricks. Also cleaned up the houses with a burp bench to make it look like people actually spent time to live here, and even in some respects, cleaned up after themselves. Removed floor clutter, all Halloween decorations in all houses, also removed all the large hedges that looked hideous and would severely take away from being able to make Sanctuary looked decent again, and removed all the vines growing and hanging from all the houses, trees, poles etc, as well as the sanctuary sign, so you can actually read it now. Our final mod is Totally Safe Medipack. Ever been tired of the chem station being few and far between? Don't want to spend a fortune of caps on the clinics? Well this is your lucky day, with this little rudimentary chemistry station you can now craft a few makeshift aid utilities in the middle of nowhere, provided you have the ingredients in your inventory already. Now being makeshift chems means that you have to make some compromises regarding things like purity, proper filtering, proper testing and the results. In other words, the stuff you can make with this little care package will come at a price and you'll need to decide on whether the chems are worth it or not. Getting started, in order to create the chems in the field you will need to craft them at the regular chem station. You will need to build something at the Isobel workbench first, the microchem station. Cobbled together from common chemistry equipment and stuffed into an old first aid kit. This poor man's chem lab has everything you need to create a total of 7-8 items. You can find the parts needed for the microchem station in schools, hospitals, laboratories or northern of Fort Hagen in the destroyed military buildings. Just make sure you don't scrap them by accident because you need to build something else. The mod comes with different recipes that you can craft and they include alcohol, antiseptic paste, compression bandage, protein extractor, water purifying bag, bloodlust, blood shield and night stalker. Well guys there we have it, 6 upcoming console mods. I want to thank all of you for watching and I'll be back again soon with more Fallout videos. If you want to keep up to date with all my latest releases, click on the subscription button on screen if you haven't done so yet, or click the link to my previous video to keep up to date with all my latest content including console mods, guides and news every single day. Turn on notifications, the little bell thing next to the subscribe button as well to get notified of my latest videos as soon as they come out. You can also follow me on Twitter as well if you want to. With all that being said guys, until next time, stay awesome, and I will see you all in the next video. See